Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to some more Battle Academy World War One. So of course here we are continuing with our tank versus tank battle in World War One. Uh, and believe it or not, um, I'm not actually sure whether or not we've won yet. Um, we definitely destroyed some more tanks, but I think we need to destroy even more tanks. Now one thing I'm going to do is get some British bombers over here. Uh, we want to start targeting some of the enemies moving up on uh, Villers Bretonneau. But we've already completed basically the objectives of destroying Villers Breton or de defending Villers Breton. Now we have to complete the objectives of destroying all enemy tanks. Now I was almost certain we had done that, but apparently we still have some work to do. So we're going to start moving forward with our men, just trying to look for enemies wherever the hell they are. And once we spot that tank, we're probably going to try and call in some artillery or air support. Uh, to destroy it. By the way, if you guys are new to this series, please make sure to watch episode one. I'm going to try to find it and put it down below. Start from there. It's been a really great battle, um, and we want to do more after this on Battle Academy. There's a lot here that just hasn't been considered that we could probably try. So first things first, I want to try to bombard this area, but it doesn't look like the Germans are close enough yet. It's going to take a little while to get there, so I'm not going to bomb yet. Uh, we do have actually a British infantry unit here, but I believe he has already fired. Uh, in fact, we're going to move him in here hunting, just in case. And sure enough, the enemy has responded, and he's suppressed. It doesn't look like the hunt is going to work very well, and he surrendered too to the to the uh, Germans. At this point, these Germans have absolutely taken us out. It's a scary situation. But nonetheless, we're going to go ahead and end turn and continue. Um, and I want to see over here if we have that mortar. Okay, we do. So I'm going to move him forward a little bit more. And at the same time, I'm going to move forward some of these infantry. The only reason I'm moving these infantry forward, guys, is to look for what could be another tank. Is there another tank out there? I really don't know. I hope not. But look at that. We do have some more Germans. And our effectiveness is going to be zero against them. But maybe we could suppress them, or maybe we could just get a little closer and get a better shot. Effectiveness, five. You would think that a Whippet Light Tank would have more effectiveness than that. But you know what? Who knows? I'm not a World War I expert. Move forward. Fire on the Stoßtruppen. Come on, boys. Close enough. Don't forget, you can get this game on uh, iPad. You can get it on, uh, I think, iPhone. I could be wrong on that. I think it's just my iPad uh, PC. So if you guys enjoy what you're seeing, make sure uh, to take a look at other, you know, other places to get the game and pick it up yourselves, guys. So we've got the male tank. The difference between the male and the female is that the male has a turret gun, or I should say a... Uh, an AP gun, an armor-piercing gun, and the female just has machine guns. Uh, that's what I understand. I could be wrong, but I think it's basically what people have uh, said so far. So let's end the turn here. Turn it over to the Germans. Let's hope that they reveal that other tank. There's an ambush here. What the hell? That was a little strange. Um, let's take a look all the way back here. As I see that red, I think that's just an objective uh, capture symbol. Nonetheless, that kind of worried me a little bit. All right, fair enough. We're going to keep on moving forward, guys. And hopefully we find some of the enemy here. Oh, broken down, of course. A lot of these World War One tanks, as you can imagine, guys, not the greatest in terms of, uh, uh, you know, in terms of rel reliance. You can't really rely on these tanks. Um, it's just unfortunate. But I am going to go ahead and try to drop some rounds, uh, artillery rounds here. We don't know where the enemy is. We can only kind of guess, so I'm going to try and fire here. Hope for the best. We probably should have shot over here to the far left, because we saw a lot of enemies moving over there. But in the meantime, we'll start sending some more troops this way, looking for, of course, that last enemy tank. Let's see if the Whippet can get even closer here. Oh, well, at least we found some enemy infantry, which, who knows, could lead to an enemy tank. That whip and machine gun should be performing a lot better than it is. Come on. Come on, boys. Open fire. Still no hits? My goodness. These guys really need to go back to training. And actually, these German Stolstruppen, if I'm not mistaken, they could... No, it's, that's a Stolstruppen unit. I was going to say, they could have been the tank crew um, that that we we popped out of that other tank because we did see that the tank crew uh, evacuated. But let's go ahead and use our artillery here on this unit. Try to bomb them. Suppressed. But no kills. Hey, you know what? Sometimes suppression isn't so bad. 
uh, and at least gets us a little closer to destroying that thing. I re just refer to an infantry unit as a thing. There must be something wrong with that. Um, all right, we've, we're going to have to get over to their trench line to be able to actually see anything, but I'm concerned that the enemy tank could be hiding behind the trench line. I'm going to send some bombers this way just in case there's another enemy tank over here, but we really need to open up these sight lines, guys. Make sure that we know every single inch of this battlefield um, to be able to spot what could be uh, our basically our step to victory. Once we destroy all the enemy tanks, then I believe we win. It's that simple. Get the Lewis gun up there. I want to get a machine gun in those buildings. We already have some infantry units in there, but we need a machine gun. Let's also fire with that... Oh, that's right. We already fired with that artillery unit. Damn it! That's too bad. I will, however, move my mortars up here. Get them a little closer to where the enemy probably is. Uh, because the mortars don't have the biggest line of sight. And let's also move these guys, these bombers, over here. Ooh, we risk getting shot at. Gotta be careful here. Okay, we've spotted the enemy. Stoßtruppen, effectiveness 18. Fire again. There we go, one down. Wow, that took a while. Um, at least we're going to sort of force them to move a little slower. Not that it really matters. We've already accomplished that task. Let's end the turn. Where's your? Where's the damn tank? Show yourself. All right, our bombers have actually thrown some grenades right back at the enemy, but the enemy is throwing grenades at our bombers, trying to get them to surrender. They've been pretty successful with that with all our other units. We're pinned down. Now we're getting shot at, and they've surrendered. Sure enough, the Germans are making a lot of our men surrender here in the actual town. And um, believe it or not, this was quite common in World War One. I. I mean, so many people surrendered, as you could probably imagine. There was a lot of that going on, so I'm not exactly surprised. Oh, come on now, my full female. All right, guys, get over here. So there's definitely that enemy trench. I'm going to try to approach. Yes, there could be a machine gun in there. Sure enough. Effectiveness is only going to be five. Shit. All right, I'm going to see if we can't get that artillery to start firing at that position. I mean, if the effectiveness is only five, that's, that's pretty terrible. So maybe we can blow these guys out of this bunker. Not a chance. Not a damn chance. What about the Whippet? Come on, Whippet. Get better. Get good. There's one Stoss drooping down. The other one's retreating. We're still not close enough to get a shot on the bunker, but we will get closer. There we go. Once again, effectiveness is zero, which means that we have no chance of doing any damage. The effectiveness on this guy is four. At least on this guy, we've got a chance to kill him. We got a little lucky there, but we're getting closer to that Lanza Wood Trench. Did I just say that with a German accent? Shame on me. Um, open fire here. Yeah, you're dead now. And we also got a promotion. Nice. Return fire through the hedges. And it looks like we can return fire with an effectiveness of only five. It's not very good, but you know what? At least we let them know we're here. All right, let's see if we can't move forward with more British infantry units. And let's also go ahead and see if we can't fire with the artillery. I think we've already shot with this guy, sorry. With the other artillery, anyway. Um, and we're going to try either into the town. Yeah, I think, you know what, especially considering the amount of Germans that are in this town, we might as well go ahead and try and pop a few. And again, I think the biggest threat is over here. So I think this is where we're going to fire. Go ahead and open fire on the uh, bunker once again with some arty. about every single shot missed. We are going to return fire. Try to get some kills here with the British. We're going to return fire. Just took down one of our boys. Now we're suppressed, which means we can't move forward anymore, or we can't return fire at least this turn uh, until we get out of suppression. And we're still no closer to finding that other enemy tank. So we've really got to look for that thing and see if we can't find it or spot it somewhere. Um, 
All right, let's bring forward the Mark IV male. And he's broken down. What else is new? I gotta say, our male tanks have a very, very bad habit of breaking down. Nothing up this road from what we can see, but we'll move forward with our bombers as well. You never know where these guys could be hiding. All right, with the Stokes Mortar, I'm also going to move forward. Let's face it, we could get a lot closer than we are now. And I might actually put some of these British infantry back in the trenches or even in this uh, light fortification because we know the Germans are advancing here. Lewis gun into the building for sure, if we can get in there. But we might have to wait a turn. All right, let's end the turn, boys. I think I'm actually going to move with the British infantry. Hopefully it's not too late to do this, but we're going to retreat back to the trenches. We don't care if they get uh, anything here, but I did just hear, I just realized now, a little late on the realization, that I heard some motors moving in this area. Maybe, just maybe, we have spotted, or are about to spot that enemy tank. Let's get closer. Come on. the Highlanders and move this way as well and I think with our artillery this time we're gonna try to fire at the enemy infantry and the reason I'm doing this is I want to get as close as I can to where that enemy tank could be one down they're retreating and suppressed and one more hit and they're totally destroyed very good work there by our artillerymen if only they could shoot like that every single time we would be doing great which we kind of are already, but uh, we need to improve every single time. So it looks like our British Highland Infantry are going to retreat. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drop some rounds down on the enemy here. Distance could also be an issue with these guys. Open fire effective is 19. That's an ambush. Enemy is suppressed. Can we get any kills? Two down. Great shooting. Move forward with the Whippet as well. And we will open fire, guys. And they're going to retreat right back into their caves. Uh, well, their trenches. I'm going to also suppress the area here where we last saw the enemy machine gun crew. Sometimes with the suppression technique, you actually get lucky and manage to get a kill. And also, we can't forget, we've got some Germans here on our flank. I just now realized. We're going to open fire on our British infantry unit. Oh, boy. There's only one of them, too. The effectiveness is one. Should have just kept this guy behind. Oh no, Jenkins, not you! We've also given the enemy a promotion. But hopefully, we can fire. Wait a minute, didn't they just get two ambush shots? That's a bit unfair. Oh well, keep firing. One down, good shooting, boys. Another one down, really good shooting. And we've also got the bombers moving up here. Once again, I think we can get really close to these guys. Effectiveness 14. Down. We're going to totally destroy this target if we get lucky. There we go. A target completely annihilated. I think there's one guy over here by the uh, hedgerows. But more or less completely annihilated. Really good work by our men. We'll keep moving forward with the Lewis gun in the hopes that we spot some sort of enemy vehicle. And we will once again end the turn. But not without trying to move the Mark IV male. Beautiful. It's about damn time. field is littered with explosions. Also try to move the whippet. Okay guys, let's end the turn. Um, actually the Stokes Mortar could probably stand and move forward a little bit more. I think so. And we're going to have to regroup because we said we we're going to leave this area and go to the trench, but no. We, we need to go back in the city to look for the enemy. Um, so let's see... Yeah, I don't think we have anyone in the city that can spot an enemy tank, but hopefully we'll find it next turn. Let's go. Shot, what is that? Oh my goodness, enemy artillery? It definitely could be. 
Okay, I absolutely heard an enemy tank. Of course, we're going to totally destroy that unit, but we need to find the armor. So we are taking out a lot of enemy units, but if we don't find that enemy armor, it's going to be all for nothing. That is our key to victory, even if it means getting out of cover. Firing on the Stoke movement. Now it is city to city combat, and we just earned our boys a promotion. Not too shabby. The battle is not yet over, my friends. Not even close.